But folks, the last three weeks, I've had some great quality time in the state of Iowa, and I have continued on visiting my counties. I was able to visit 33 different counties doing roundtables with farmers and those engaged in agriculture as we prepare for the upcoming 2023 Farm Bill reauthorization. I was able to meet with school groups, and I did a number of open public town halls, hearing from Iowans about all different topics. And what I find that is consistent with all of those meetings, all of those discussions, Iowans are really concerned about what's going on with this administration. The things that I heard about, number one, economy and inflation and how it's hurting our farmers, our families, and our small businesses. I heard from students about their concerns with public education. Uh, heard from those farmers as we did those roundtables about excessive government regulation, things like the new uh, Biden era waters of the U.S. rule. So Iowans are feeling the pressure from this administration. They're very concerned about the direction that this administration is going. My commitment to those Iowans, I will continue to work hard for them and represent their voice here in Washington, D.C., as I make my way literally river to river in Iowa, or as we call it in Iowa, coast to coast, the Mississippi to the Missouri. So anyway, folks, it's good to be back in session, but we need to encourage the Democrats, get your act together. Let's do right for the American people. Greetings, friends. Three more U.S. states are proposing stimulus payments, and these checks are expected to be sent out to millions of Americans as soon as next month. This is thanks to huge budget surpluses and leftover American Rescue Plan funds. There are more states that are approving inflation relief checks. Friends, Please do me a big favor and make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these new details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community and joining me here every day, I will be doing weekly giveaways. If you'd like to enter this Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning the Walmart gift card giveaways. Grocery bills are on the rise with higher prices for almost every item, accentuated by significant increases in the cost of eggs. The CPI shows that inflation has cooled a little, but food prices still remain very high. The CPI increased 0.1% in November, which was lower than some economists had expected. Over the last 12 months, it rose 7.1%. The food index also climbed 10.6% compared to 2021. Supply chain disruptions, transportation costs, and increased consumer spending on food are all drivers of higher food prices. According to the experts, climate change has also affected agricultural output, which has meant less food out in the market and increases prices. Although it's very hard to say when food prices will begin to come down, one economist expects that it could happen in the next six months or so. Individual states are currently issuing stimulus checks to their residents to help offset the increased costs of groceries, gas, utilities, and other daily expenses, which are caused by high inflation. Other U.S. states would also like to send their residents new rebate checks. Minnesota families may receive up to $2,600 in rebate checks under a state spending plan that Governor Tim Walz had outlined today. Individuals who make up to $75,000 a year could receive a check worth $1,000 each. And for married couples, the threshold for a $2,000 rebate is $150,000. Parents could also receive an additional $200 on their rebate check for each child, and the maximum benefit is $2,600 for one family. As many as 2.5 million Minnesota households are expected to receive a check if the plan is adopted. The Minnesota governor rolled out the final chapter of his budget proposal, which also called for reducing the state tax 
on Social Security benefits. For about 350,000 recipients, Governor Wall said the tax benefits could make a meaningful difference for Minnesota families. And he also stated it was important to hand some of that funding directly back to taxpayers to let them decide how to best spend the money. Governor Walls told reporters today, these checks mean a big difference for housing. It could be the first and last month rent. It could be the things you need to do for your children. The proposal also included an increase in the state's capital gains tax, a payroll tax to fund a paid family and medical leave program, and also increased vehicle tab fees. As part of the full two-year budget, Governor Walls proposed more than $4.4 billion in extra spending for public schools, $1.1 billion for child tax credits, $300 million plan to support public safety agencies, and another $670 million to get a paid family and medical leave program off the ground. And so far, Governor Walsh's plan has drawn mixed reviews from members of the legislature. Legislative leaders have supported the effort to roll back the tax on Social Security income for some Minnesotans, rather than eliminate it entirely. And they have not committed to the plan to issue rebate checks, instead favoring additional tax credits. Other states, like Montana, are also discussing new tax rebate payments. Both Republican Governor Greg Gianforte and Republican Majority in the Montana Legislature have identified tax relief as one of their top priorities. But as lawmakers begin hearing the first set of major bills, some differences have appeared in exactly how they want to return money back to taxpayers. One of Gianforte's main priorities has been a property tax rebate. Using some of the state's more than $2 billion surplus, he has backed House Bill 222, which is sponsored by Representative Tom Welch. A fiscal analysis estimates that the bill would have returned about $534 million to about 292,000 eligible households each year. This bill proposes $250 million for property tax rebates, and another $650 million for income tax rebates. Supporters of returning income taxes have said it makes the most sense because leaders believe the state surplus comes largely from higher-than-expected income tax collections. Well, my magnificent and marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community and for joining me here every day to watch a video I post. To say thank you and show my appreciation, I will be doing weekly giveaways. If you'd like to enter this Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these weekly giveaways.